What could Roaring Kitty's emoji timeline mean in the part with the fire, then the crash? It's something that I just asked ChatGPT because that's exactly where we're trading at in Roaring Kitty's emoji timeline, and you're going to be surprised with what it had to say. Now, the stock market is absolutely nosediving, and there's going to be too much to put into this video, but I'm going to try and pack it with as much information as I possibly could. And if I wanted to add everything, it would probably have been a 16 to 20 minute video, and I don't want to do that. There's a lot going on right now with major earnings coming out, especially last night, and they're not coming out the greatest. S&P 500 tumbles for a second day dragged lower by Microsoft and Meta. These blue chip stocks are continuing to nosedive on earnings which is honestly interesting seeing that last quarter's earnings should have been pretty decent and a lot of the numbers were actually decent but the guidance where their spending is going have raised concerns for investors. At least that's what they are saying. Yesterday we talked about how investors are selling the most amount of stocks institutions in more than nine years. So they already knew something is coming before these blue chip stocks even start selling off. Does this have to do with Roaring Kitty's crash emoji? Make sure to like the video and watch until the end to find out. On top of all of these institutions selling stocks and blue chips doing bad, Palantir CEO has just sold more shares worth $254 million. Yesterday, obviously, Meta took a nosedive down 4%, even though the earnings, I believe, weren't that bad, as well as Microsoft earnings were pretty good, and they took a nosedive down about 6%, coming right near our price target at 405. On top of that, Hood also reported earnings down 14.3%. You can see broke below two levels of support we had drawn out and came all the way to this ascending parallel channel right here, right around 23 bucks. Now, Robinhood not only did release their legend platform but they are also approving futures trading over on their platform pretty soon so you'll be able to trade futures contracts on their platform which is honestly pretty cool even though i don't like robin hood and they are also allowing you to bet on the election all that other stuff doing whatever they can to basically raise money and keep the company alive now roaring kitty has showed us several different times that the market is broken and i like this post on reddit what can i make today go read through this post i'm going to pin it in the top of the comments so that you guys can read through it again there's not time to cover everything but basically the basic breakdown is roaring kitty showed us that the market is absolutely broken there's timestamps and screenshots to show that and some of these nscc rules really really need fixing now i asked chat gpt what could roaring kitty's emoji timeline mean in the part with the fire and then the crash and basically what we have coming up next is this when you sequence a fire emoji followed by a crash emoji, it likely represents a period where the stock price shot up rapidly, aka on fire, often fueled by hype and short squeeze pressure, followed by a steep decline, then crash. When the momentum slowed or traders started taking profits, causing the price to fall quickly. Meaning we may just see one last push of hype, short squeezing, a lot of volatility on GameStop and AMC to the upside. Then you see everything crash crash and he warns you for that and then cheers he is out so we have one chance and the chance is right around the corner to make a shit ton of money on GameStop and AMC potentially if this is correct right now this doesn't mean this doesn't mean me telling you go load up on January 30th call options uh for GameStop, right? However, it doesn't mean to not do that. Nothing I say is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Now, exactly one week ago, someone bought 3,000 put contracts on SMCI with a $29 strike price and expiration date for this Friday. Today, EY announces that they are no longer willing to audit SMCI and the stock crashes 35% in 35 minutes. An insider gains 3,000% in one week. This just adds on to show that the market is broken like Roaring Kitty talked about and relates to a lot of the posts that he made. The reason I wanted to bring that up is not only to correlate it to that, not only to say that SMCI is also down another 15% today, but also to point out that this is going to affect NVIDIA and NVIDIA is continuing to sell off, which is not a chart that we're bringing up in today's video because we do not have time. AMC trading at 451, down 1%. You can see it tried to break out of this ascending parallel channel, but it didn't just yet. However, we didn't break below. As of right now, looking good. This big push out where we tried to break out of it got more volume on the four hour time frame than anything recently until we had this sell off on October 7th. Now, building a candle above this level which is a good thing to see overall amc building its way up into its earnings gets me pretty excited right whenever amc has this sort of build up 
This is usually when this price starts to skyrocket. I would watch for $5.20 buy earnings, and that is November 6th, which is next week. So 520 is my next level coming into earnings, and then after earnings, depending on what happens, maybe we come break up 566, start squeezing 630, $9, $13, $21, $45, so on and so forth. As far as GameStop goes, $22.70, down 2.5% on the day. Like I said yesterday, if we get a pullback, the biggest pullback you're going to see is down to $22.40. We actually got a wick all the way down to $22.10, but we are building a base right above $22.40 like we called out. GameStop came down and it didn't break back in this wedge. It's actually building a base off of it, which is a beautiful thing to see. You saw a catapult. You saw a natural retrace, which is very healthy for a stock, and test the channel on the outside, which primes us for another move higher which is likely going to be double the strength. Now, if this is the truth and we do get one more rally before our crash, I don't see another event that is going to trigger the time frame of a crash besides the election. So you have this little space right here for GameStop to show severe momentum to the upside as well as AMC. And I think we are right here right? Also keep in mind, we are having a slight gamma ramp this week with 27,000 calls expiring in the money compared to 3,000 puts, but a ton of premium going to market makers expiring out of the money, 105,000 call contracts on GameStop. AMC, we are basically flat on the options chain, not much to say here, but a lot of options being added up for November 15th expiration. Now, Amazon reports earnings tonight. It's already down 3.3%. I assume Amazon will come down to 180.30 or jump up to about 202.50. I really don't see huge moves for these stocks, and I think a lot of it is already being priced in. Also, on top of that, 73% of Amazon workers reportedly are considering quitting after a five day week in office mandate. Now, don't forget that Visa dropped a similar catal catalyst where they were going to lay off 14,000 employees or something like that, and then it reported earnings. After that, the same night, an earnings made it shoot up. So this is really nothing to say that Amazon is going to sell off even further coming into earnings. On top of that, reports are coming out that Apple is considering to buy INTC. Apple also reports earnings tonight. These two companies are going to drastically move the market one way or the other, and I'm going to give you my predictions as to where the market is going to go. Apple levels 237 or 219, those are the levels to watch. Now, U.S. layoffs jumped by 160,000 to 1.83 million and increased over 42% over the last three years, which shows a weak labor market. In every bubble we have had, such as 1929, 2000, 2008, and etc., the labor market always weakened before the drop. Is the bubble about to pop? And lastly, European Union says people should stockpile emergency supplies in case of war with Russia or another major emergency. Any uncertainty like this, any war like this, is never good for the overall market. Spies trading at 571.48 down one and a half percent. We got a bounce right around 570.50. I alerted Discord, SPY is either gonna bounce here or 565, likely 566, right? Five, six, high 565, 566 is where we get a bounce on the SPY. SPY has already corrected 2.74%, meaning it could very well start to rally higher from the level that it's trading at right now. Now, I do wanna point something out as to why this is actually good for the SPY. However, why to be cautious? The SPY already had one, two, three, four, five, Five green months and since October already rallied we got the gains out of it and it is the last day of October giving the spy a red monthly candle I th actually think this is very good because this just gives us room to say hey this was our October pullback or November pullback whatever uh, pullback prior to the election to give us another large green candle to ultimately top us out at 600 or 596 85 so on and so forth right right around this range one more monthly candle of a move higher before we end up crashing and i think that last momentum of squeeze is going to bring gamestop bring amc bring squeeze plays up bring all coins up you get to take all that money out and then there's going to be some sort of black swan event now be very very cautious Again, are you going to try and catch a little bit more of momentum before we crash or are you just going to prep yourself for a crash? It's completely up to you, but I'm watching it day by day. Last but not least, Bitcoin 70,300, getting a little bit of a correction down 3.5% but still trading above 70k, building a base up here on Bitcoin. Yes, you can say crypto is flushing, but as of right now, this isn't anything major. 
just yet as long as we hold above 70k overall guys that is what i got for you for today's video hopefully you enjoyed watching or found value out of the video happy halloween guys make sure to go in the description get up to 15 free stocks and earn 8.1 percent apy on your uninvested cash by using my link opening a mumu account and making a deposit you're also getting level two order book data for free access to trading options going long going short viewing other exchanges and more as a retail trader it'll take you two minutes to do it so if you're sitting around and you have five minutes to spare for your day Use my link, open a Moomoo account, and deposit into there. And for those who have signed up and got approved, make sure to go put a dollar in, a hundred dollars in, a thousand dollars in, whatever it is, and start using their platform. If you're not subscribed yet, we are at a special number over here. Break that special number and get us to 100. Hopefully, there's at least 31 of you watching until the end of the video who can go click over and subscribe to Lottery Vlogs, which is the second channel. Once we hit 100 subscribers, I'll definitely drop the first video. Last but not least, my custom indicator is in the description. Pattern detection and forecasting. You can get it for two weeks for free. Go try it out. It detects patterns, gives you price targets, and forecasts what the stock might do. And my Discord is in the description. That's only a coffee a month for insane benefits. I'm the only one out here charging a very very good price for the discord i love you all lottery socks out